Welcome to a Vertica test drive featuring hands-on access to Vertica Analytic Database and a use case from the domain of website analytics. In this video, we'll show you how to quickly get yourself into the driver's seat and start driving. Vertica is a modern analytical database designed from the ground up for the fast processing of big data. Vertica is a column store database, not a traditional relational database, but its native language is SQL, making it easily accessible to IT professionals. Vertica is part of an ecosystem with partner products that deliver the power of Vertica through visualizations, data movement and transformation, IoT, and more. We created the sample Clickstream app in this test drive using one of those partner products, a data visualization tool called Logi Info. The software in the test drive is up and running when you log in. It includes Vertica Database Server, vSQL, the Vertica command line interface, a web server, and Logi Info and the Clickstream app. Vertica runs on Linux platforms. In this case, we're using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. All you need is a web browser and a tool such as PuTTY or Xterm for accessing a remote Linux environment. After you register for the test drive, the cloud platform prepares your personal test drive environment and notifies you by email when it is ready. The email includes the IP address of the remote environment and your credentials for logging in. To log in, start PuTTY or an Xterm session and specify the IP address of your test drive environment as the hostname. At the Linux command line, log in as dbadmin with the database instance ID as the password. Now a word about the use case we offer in the test drive. The app uses Clickstream data for A-B testing. Clickstream data is captured from web server logs and is extremely high volume. Merging and mining this data is beyond the capacity of legacy databases, but an ideal fit for Vertica. A-B testing is a process for measuring the relative effectiveness of two versions of the same web page. Analysis of the Clickstream data before and after the website is modified shows which version is resulting in more customer commitments, known as conversions. A-B testing is commonly used and is very effective at increasing customer conversions. To open the A-B testing app, just type this URL into your browser. The URL includes the IP address of your personal test drive environment. On the home page of the app, click A-B testing dashboard. The dashboard shows user activity on an e-commerce website that has four pages. The tabs on the dashboard show the usage data for the site before and after it is changed. As you can see, there is initially no data in the dashboard. We've designed the test drive to give you hands-on access to Vertica, so you'll be the one loading the data by running a few vSQL scripts that we've provided. The first step is to create the Clickstream tables. At the Linux command line, navigate to the folder that contains the scripts and data. Open the vSQL command line. At the vSQL prompt, run the create clickstream schema script. Note the backslash i. This tells vSQL to execute the input in the following file. You can list the tables that were created by typing backslash d. The create clickstream schema script creates the tables that will hold the clickstream data. The tables are organized as a star schema. The fact table contains information about website usage. Its dimensions include date, session, IP address, web page, and credit card number. When all the data is loaded, the fact table will have 20 million rows. For details about the data, see the test drive documentation. Now it's time to load some data. Start with the website usage data that was collected before the website was changed. To load the before data, return to vSQL and run the load clickstream data before AB test script. If your vSQL session is no longer open, remember to check your current directory in Linux, change directory if necessary, and restart vSQL. Run the row count clickstream before AB test script to see how many rows of data were loaded. Now let's take a look at the data in the AB testing dashboard. What can we learn from this data? Well, we see that there are on average 2,500 conversions each day, and customers click more than six times per conversion. 
Also, we see that there are about 166,500 hits to the website each day. Given the total conversions per day, we learn that only about 1.5% of the hits are resulting in conversions. The heat map shows the sites that customers visited before visiting the vendor's site. Based on the heat map, we see that more customers are coming directly from music and real estate websites than from other types of websites. This data is useful for targeted advertising. Now go ahead and load the website usage data that was collected after the website was changed. To load the data, return to vSQL and run the load clickstream data after AB test script. Run the row count clickstream after AB test script to see how many rows of data now exist in the fact table. When you return to the AB testing dashboard, you can see that all the data is loaded and you can compare the before and after usage of the website. We can see right away that there have been some big changes. Before the change, there were an average of 2,500 conversions each day and more than six clicks per conversion. After the change, there are an average of 6,500 conversions each day and three clicks per conversion. Conversions have more than doubled and the number of clicks has decreased by half. Take a look at the increase in average monthly conversions. Clearly this analysis was worth doing. After browsing around in the A-B testing dashboard, you can try running some sample queries or loading your own data. Just follow the instructions in the documentation. Also, you could try creating your own visualizations in the A-B testing app. Are you a Tableau user? On the Test Drive launch page, you'll find a link to a Tableau workbook that you can download and use with the Clickstream data. The workbook is bundled with a short document that tells you how to get up and running. After your test drive session, check out these additional free resources to continue familiarizing yourself with Vertica. Try our other test drives on Amazon and Microsoft Azure. Install Vertica Community Edition. It's a free download on my.vertica.com. Check out the Vertica Quick Start Example apps on the HPE Big Data Marketplace. To learn more about Vertica, visit us on the web at vertica.com and my.vertica.com. On my.vertica.com, you'll find the Vertica documentation and the Vertica Big Data community. On the community, you'll find more videos as well as blogs, tutorials, and the Vertica knowledge base. Thanks for watching.